Hi, I'm Jace Clamp, and I just wanted to wish everyone out there on LinkedIn and whoever's watching this video a Happy New Year from me and my kids here. And I also wanted to take a minute to read you a new kid's story that I've written. Some people in the shipping and the e-commerce industry might enjoy reading this story to their kids to talk about some of the problems that they solve. But really, I wanted to illustrate how sometimes multi-billion dollar business strategies can be so simple that they can be represented in a kid's story. So it's called Speedy the Eagle and we're still waiting to finish up some of the graphics and get the printing done but I just couldn't wait to share it. So here we go. Speedy the Eagle knew how to go fast. He loved to ride the hot air way up to the clouds, tuck his wings tight to his body and rocket back down to the ground. At the last minute he'd spread his wings and swoop back up again. He also loved how when he was up high he could see everything. He felt it was so easy to know what to do from up high. One day while soaring, he noticed people getting impatient. They were frustrated with how long it was taking for things they'd bought online to come in the mail. The shopkeepers were perplexed. How could they give their customers the faster mail service they wanted? Faster mail service cost more money, which customers didn't want to pay. From his point of view, Speedy knew what to do to help shopkeepers make things go faster. First of all, he flew around to all of the shopkeepers telling them that instead of them having to pay the mail company separately, they could team up as a group. He then spoke with the mail companies and won the shopkeepers fast mail services at cheaper prices. The shopkeepers rejoiced over the cheaper mail prices, but they still struggled to know how to charge their customers for shipping or add the cost to the shop prices. It was also still hard for them to pick which of the mail companies would deliver fast enough to keep customers happy while still costing the least. Once again, Speedy the Eagle knew what to do. He built a machine to learn all it could about the things the shops were selling and how they were mailed. It got so smart, it could look at something and know exactly how much it would cost to mail and what the best way to mail it was. The machine started giving the shopkeepers tips on what to do, which they loved because they sold more and had happier customers. With more sales came a different problem. Mail deliveries were leaving packages for people, but the packages were going missing. And this was very sad. Once again, Speedy knew what to do. He helped the shopkeepers to put extra choices on their websites so customers could pick the time of day they wanted their package to be delivered, or they could deliver it to a safe place nearby and pick it up when they were ready. Once again, Speedy had saved the day. As the shopkeepers sold more, people in other countries wanted to buy from the great shops they were hearing about. Sending mail to other countries was both complicated and expensive. So Speedy again decided to help. Using warehouses, he would pile up all of the packages that needed to go to one country or another. Instead of sending them separately, he'd send them all together in big boxes, which was cheaper. It was very complicated for shopkeepers to figure out the fees and taxes each country would charge for allowing the packages to come into their countries. Speedy's machine once again did a great job of learning all about this and telling shopkeepers what the costs would be. Finally, Speedy could soar around and see shopkeepers busy and customers happy. He knew though that soon people would start getting impatient again. And this time he'd be prepared with something that would blow them all away.